about some backup application actually which application helps us to uh, take backup of our internal storage external storage and some uh, kinds of application and apps data uh, which is uh, migrate application and swift backup i already made videos on it and uh, now today i will introduce with you guys the data backup which is uh, newly launched and maybe a few people know about that uh, and this UI is really great and very handy and which looks uh, very simple and normal uh, so that everybody can use it easily and I will show you guys how you guys can use that application first of all download that application uh, from the given link in description and then you guys will get an uh, give the root permission then of course you guys will get that user interface like internal storage and you guys already can see here for archiving please select the entire data backup directory to prevent a loss of configuration so that's it and we have some features like you guys can take that backup on internal storage and of course OTG and unsupported format as I don't have any OTG connected that's why you guys can take backup on OTG no problem and this is the SD card and you guys will get that uh, uh, stored file on your storage and emulate it zero and data backup folder you guys will get it there and you will get the details architecture of your device and updates about here and if you have a latest update of course you guys can download from there and logs can be saved on that data backup folder and dynamic colors and other things and we have some features like here if you click here which is called backup and which is called home and this one restore restore option actually uh, this is the restore option and if when you are just ready to take the backup and you are done with backup and then flashing a new ROM you guys must select restore and select that G archive file and your data or application whatever everything will be restored and you guys can take backup of your audios videos and images everything no problem with that and now let me show you how can we take uh, backup of some application I'll show you so this is home click on home and then you guys can see here the backup section just click on backup section and backup apps and data here you go if you want to take backup of your apps and data then select application from here and if you want to take backup of your media like pictures download music and videos then click on add and you guys can do that and backup your itself automatically if you want the automatic backup when backing up the application it automatically backs up its own installation package to the backup directory so i don't want to make it itself i just want to select application like this if you want only application then tick on application and if you don't need the data then untick the data and if you need data then tick the data that's it and this is the way you guys can take the backup and i just want to take all the backups of that applications so i am just getting back and start backup click on that and ready it's just take taking the backup uh, it's now ready if you click on backup it will start taking backup so it's backing up so it's already finished 16 application success and zero failed 16 total now let me clear that thing so everything is done and uh, where we have already taken the backup let me show you this is the internal storage i already taken the backup and this applications actually i already took the backup so before i change room let me show you which room i'm using here this is project blaze room i'm using here right now and after changing that room i will show you guys how to take the backup that means uh, how can we restore the backup applications and let me show you just go to your internal storage as i already taken my backup on internal storage you guys will get a folder name data backup so this is the data backup folder and here is the backup files on data this is app files and if you 
remove any of this it will not work remember one thing from the config file this is the config list and a backup app list and backup and restore app list everything if you remove something you won't be able to uh, take a restore so this is really really important thing if you delete anything from config you won't be able to restore your data so that's it and now you guys can copy and just paste it to your sd card or otg whatever you can do that so i'm moving my files to sd card as i am going to do a clean flash so internal storage will be wiped so that's why i'm moving my files on sd card now data backup is here data backup folder already uh, move to SD card now I'm going to change my room and I'll show you how to restore the files so let's get it started let me just flash a new room custom room has been flashed and which is a pixel extended and you people can see the user interface is different and I already installed the data backup application and of course the device must be rooted if your device is not rooted you can't uh, restore or backup any application or data nothing and after opening that application and you are good to go then go to restore option and remember one thing uh, I've already uh, I've already taken the backup on internal storage uh, then I moved my files to SD card because uh, my internal storage was wiped and after that uh, I just uh, did one thing uh, just copy that uh, data backup folder and then I paste it to internal storage here and this is data backup folder remember one thing when you install the application which is data backup application if you install that application then automatically we will get one data backup folder and remember one thing if you just copy the file from uh, data backup file from your uh, SD card uh, to internal storage then you will get another folder which is called data backup one which called the name so remember one thing that will be renamed to data backup one so then you need to just rename it to data backup and delete one folder then it will be like this just one folder and files so keep that files in external or internal storage and then open the data backup application and then select a files uh, like internal storage or external storage then go to restore option and then select files here select here zero and also select zero here then you are good to go so now uh, previously i uh, just uh, took the backup of 16 application now i have 16 application here just start restoring and it will ready so then click on restore and it will start restoring the application and data so wait for the end you people can do that process uh, by keeping your files on sd card and internal storage wherever you want you guys can uh, do that process no problem so you guys can see a process uh, already finished so now let me show you applications uh, already installed or not so you people can see every single application that means 16 application is already installed in that device now let me open the YouTube uh, to check uh, it's okay no issues with that and uh, let me open the telegram it's just awesome it is stored with data that means you guys uh, don't need to log into your account or do anything because it can save your data and password everything which is really cool and this is how you guys can take the backups and other things and this is really a very handy feature and a very useful application and very simple user interface and swift backup is a bit complicated and uh, maybe uh, very very difficult to uh, understand for some people if you are looking for something different and something easy then of course go with data backup and gradually it will improve uh, in like future so i suggest you guys can easily give it a try and if you would like to change room like me so it will be very helpful for you people i hope you guys understand the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching